redecorating my apartment so of course I went to Ikea and saw that they had the Raskog utility cart in white so I picked it up for the intention of using it as like a mobile writing utensil station because when I'm bullet journaling or coming up with new spreads um, it's not always in my office sometimes it's on the kitchen island or I'm on the couch lounge in a lounging position and there's nothing worse than having to get off my butt to go all the way to my office to get white out or something. It's probably the most first world problem I've ever had in my life um, but we do have a solution and today I am solutioning with this cart. I'm going to show you how I organize it and put it together because maybe it'll inspire you to have your own cart of your own. That was a weird sentence. Growing up, my mom always had a homework cart in our home, which again was like a cart on wheels that had everything we needed for supplies to do homework. I honestly think like as handy as it was, it was an excuse for her to organize a cart full of pencil crayons and pens and pencils. And honestly, I'm using that same excuse, except I don't have homework now uh, because I'm not a student. But I do have writing needs and here we go. This is gonna do it. So my plan for this cart is to kind of do a top shelf of all of like my go-to um, always use products, black pens, ruler, a whiteout, a pencil or two, you know, whatever it is I, I usually need like all the time no matter what spread I'm doing. The second shelf is a little bit like there's there's a little bit of space here so I think it'll be good home for my bullet journal and any other notebooks I use. And then the third shelf I haven't quite figured out yet. So this is really a figure out as we go situation. <laughs> but either way, at the end, I will be left with the cart full of beautiful things in it. Don't know why I'm hugging the cart right now, but this kind of feels great. <laughs> Let's get started on this. Yeah, you're gonna look so good, my cart. Oh, my butt. It's when you know you're getting old and it hurts to sit on the floor. In my cart, I really want to have my Crayola Super Tips and my Tombow Dual Brush Pens. But I have a feeling that a lot of these, especially my Tombows, are probably dried out, which breaks my heart. But I haven't gone through all of these in a, in a bit, so I think I'm going to spend a bit of time just testing all of them. Wish me luck. <laughs> Let's start with the Tombows. Goodbye, 098. I like that color too. I thought some of these would definitely be dried up on me, or a lot of a lot of these, but it's going quite well. This is what I like to see. The thought that just keeps coming to my brain as I do this is that I need to not buy any more Tombos. If anyone sees me in public near a Tombow stand, just stop me right in my tracks because that needs to end. Mm, that one's a little, no, we're good. Keep thinking they're not gonna be fine, but they're fine. Well, I'm glad that only three bit the dust there. That's comforting. So we're still doing well in the Tombow department. Oh no, no, no. Next step is to put all these back and I'm gonna sort it by color. I used to organize these by like even lighter, lightest to darkest, but I find it really not sustainable to keep that organized over a long period of time. So I think just grouping them generally by color category will be really helpful. So pretty. I'm gonna do the same thing with this Tombow dual brush pen organizer. Um, I got this off of, I think, Amazon or something. It'll be linked down in the description box below. This obviously stores your Tombows vertically, so I was concerned that a lot of these would have dried out by now because they weren't being stored horizontally, 
but they've been here for a while and a lot of them like I only had to think through about three so uh, not that big of a deal. But that being said, I might one day try and find a different solution for these, like something like a, an acrylic drawer or something. Oh, they look so pretty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so the first two items are on the cart now. I've got Crayola Super Tips down here, Tombow's up here. I put the Crayolas here because they're easier to see, even though they're on the second shelf, like even from this angle, I can see all the colors. Whereas the Tombow's, I feel like I need a little bit more shifting around ability so I can truly see all of the colors. I like, I like. I'm also gonna add this acrylic organizer for my black pens. This is the exact same organizer as the one down, downstairs on the second level organizing my Crayolas. I love these acrylics from Muji. I think they're so, such great quality and I love the angle on them. Makes them look very clean. I quickly rearrange these so that the sizing like increased for all of the different types of pens here. Got my Microns at the top, my Tombow black pens in the middle with the Muji 0.38s, 0.25 and 0.5. This is my Lamy pen, my gel white ink pens, and then, or my jelly roll pens, and then some other random ones. This is a planter that I got from H&M, I think last year, and I've been using it as um, like a pen holder or a pencil holder. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put it at the top or at the bottom, but let's try it at the top. It's going to be home to my Stedler pencils and my Blackwing Pearl pencil. There's also an accompanying dish with some paper clips in it. Adding this pencil case at the top because I want somewhere to put like the the tools that I know I'll always need access to so I've got an eraser in here a mini pencil sharpener it's a little baby it's so cute oh my goodness glue because sometimes I like to do some crazy stuff oh are you gonna focus are you gonna focus are you gonna focus just a regular one from stables beautiful pair of black and gold scissors I think these are the prettiest scissors I've ever owned so gorgeous and the whiteout. So these are, this pencil case is just perfect. And this pencil case that I'm putting this in is one from the company Matt and Nat. A lot of my vegan bags are from them. Um, and this is just a really great size pencil case. Excellent. So I could zipper this up, but I'll probably just keep it open to make it really user friendly. I think at the bottom, I'm going to add my sketchbook and this memo pad that I showed. Both of these I showed in my recent stationery haul. I like to do some sketches of spreads before I try them out in a bullet journal, but they I don't need access to them in the same way that I do these things. So I think they'll be fine at the bottom. Harry, though, I do always need access to. So I think at the top, as a fitting spot, or I could put him right here. I'm gonna throw in some pencil crayons too into this cart. I don't typically use pencil crayons, but I feel like it's a tool I will wanna use a little bit more. But because they're not something I do use regularly, they'll be at the bottom, and if I do end up using them a lot, I'll transfer them somehow to the top. I think the last thing that needs to go on here is my circle tracer. I use this all the time, both for drawing circles and as just a regular ruler, because obviously the sides are straight. I could put it here like that, which is fine. I could also put it here, or I could put it at the bottom here. Probably makes more sense though to put it at the top, even though it might not look as nice. It's probably the most practical. I'm gonna add some black and white post-its right here, and I think that's it. That is my bullet journal cart. pen bullet journal card. We really need to work on the name. I'm sure the title of this video will have chosen one of those. Um, but I, I love it. I can't stop looking at it in the viewfinder. It makes me so happy. The colors of, of the markers just like, 
Mwah. As I mentioned, there's a lot of decorating and organizing happening, so that is turning into content that you will be seeing in the somewhat near future. So if you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss when new videos go up. I'd also love to know in the comment section down below if you have some sort of stationary cart of your own and uh, where you do a lot of your journaling. I'm assuming for many of you it's probably at a desk, but uh, you know, me, I flip flop between the desk, the island, and the couch as I mentioned earlier, so who knows? I am curious to, to hear about your planner situation. I will see you all very soon with a new video, and until then, Bye everyone. Will I name this cart? That is the question. What would I name it? Mr. Cart? Hello, Mr. Cart. Thank you for the pen. Could you hold my bullet journal? If only this was on like some sort of remote control and then I could make the cart come to me. That'd be laziness at its finest. Okay, one, one last look. Oh, I'm so sexy.